Okay, so in this tutorial you're going to be making this program um, to move some cars across the screen. I say cars, but for now they're just rectangles. Um, so you might want to add some features like uh, wheels, steering wheel, um, maybe even some exhaust smoke coming out the back. Um, but you're going to be using making this with using object-oriented programming techniques. You should have had a theory lesson on this already, so now, now's the practical. And you're probably going to have more cars than just two. Um, so for this video, you might have to pause it um, as I write the code, then you write the code and go back to the video. Okay, but you've all got to complete this tutorial and to be able to pass the first two units. So I'm just going to stop that program. Okay, so we're going to write the code um, to produce these cars using object-oriented programming. Um, now the first thing I'm going to do is just going to rename this here and call it, whoops, okay we'll rename that in a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class. Now you can create the class just in here but I'm going to use this tab to create my class and the reason I'm doing that is so the class, the code for the class is separate to the rest of the code. So it, my main program is going to be here and on this new tab it's going to be the code for the class. So I'm going to do a new tab and I'm going to call it car with a capital C. Remember what I said in the theory lesson, um, classes should start with a capital letter. So car with a capital C. Okay. So in here is where I'm going to uh, write the code for my car. Okay, so um, I'm just bringing up some, you, you can't see what I'm doing now, I'm just bringing up a photo to help me because I can't remember it um, off the top of my head. So the first bit of code is to write class car followed by an opening brace and let's just put the closing brace in there as well. So we're saying to the program, okay, there's going to be a class called car, um, and this is where it's going to be described. Let's put that a long way down. It's going to be quite a lot of code here. So the first thing we're going to do is set some variables, because the car, as you saw, has a color. So let's call that C. The car has an X position and a Y position. So we're going to have float X position and we will have one for Y position as well. Um, the car is also going to have a speed in the X direction, so it's called an X speed. Okay, so there's my variable set up for the car. Okay, now the next thing that comes is something called a constructor. So let's put that in, uh, this is a constructor. So let's write it in and I'll explain it in a minute. Okay, so in the constructor, you're listing all the arguments, um, rem remember that in computing, um, the word argument means a value, so um, it's going to have all the values, all the arguments, um, which relate to the car. So when you eventually um, use a, the car object, or when you are going to do something with a car object, it needs four values. It needs the colour, and we're going to call that temp C, temporary colour. Okay, we're going to make it, you could have called, I could have called it C, but it would get confusing with this one up here. So I'm calling it temporary colour, followed by a comma. We also need a temporary X position, so temporary X position. We also need a temporary Y position. Make this a bit bigger. Oops. And we also need a temporary X speed. Okay. Um, and then 
because it's a constructor, we start it with those curly braces and straight away I'm going to put in the finishing curly brace as well. And as you can see there, I forgot to put the word float. Okay, so I've got a temporary colour, a temporary X position, a temporary Y position, and a temporary X speed. So basically all these values with the word temp in front of them. Right, so, so I haven't finished with this constructor yet. I've got to say uh, that C equals temp C. Okay, so this variable C is going to be equal to a value uh, given to it in the main program. This will all become fairly obvious later on. Just bear with me for now. I'm going to say x pos equals, I'm just going to copy that, temporary x pos. I'm going to say y pos equals temporary y pos. Semicolon, and I'm going to say x, oops, x speed equals temporary x speed. Okay, that's the end of my constructor. Okay, so the constructor is now done. Um, just delete that a bit. We're now going to add some methods that exist for this particular class. Uh, methods should have been covered in the um, theory lesson. Method is like a function. So similar to a function, we get the word void, or in this case, it, in this way, in case it's void, it might be int here. Depends if the function returns nothing back to the main program. We use the word void. Um, and we give it a name, so we're going to display the car on the screen. So we want a method to display the car on the screen. And we're just going to say how we're going to do that. So every time this method is called from the main program, we don't want to see the outline of the car. So let's have, sorry, no, incorrect. We want a black <laughs> outline for the car. Uh, we're going to fill it with whatever colour C is going to be. So later on, C will be a value. Um, we want rect mode center. Make it easier to position the car. And we're going to draw the rectangle at X pos, um, Y pos, um, and then maybe give it a width of 20, it's going to be quite a small car and a height of 10. Okay, so this display function, sorry, method, I'm just, I'm just doing a recording. Can you give me five minutes? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. get lunch. Yeah, okay. um, so this, this display method basically draws a car on the screen and the position will be changing depending on the X positions and the Y positions. Um, we need another method now, otherwise that one will just be static. So, we need something else, but, <laughs> damn, what do we need? I think I might have to stop this video. I think we need a, um, another function called drive. Oops, drive. And we want the X position to be updated every time we use this function. So we're going to go X pos equals X pos plus one. And we're going to say if x pos is greater than the width, then reset it back to zero. Otherwise, the car will shoot off the end of the screen and you'll never see it again. So x pos equals zero. Okay, so let's have a recap. We have created a class called car with a capital C. It's going to have four values associated with it. It's going to have a colour, an X position, a Y position, and a speed. 
In fact, that should be there. That should be not plus one plus x speed. My bad. Because um, it might change. It might be one, it might be ten. Depends what speed it's going. We then have a constructor. This is the bit, this is the weird bit. You might have to Google uh, what is a constructor for a class. But it's basically giving it temporary values. Um, you then have a method called display, which allows the car to be displayed on the screen. Um, a method called drive, which makes it move or makes it drive. And if it gets to the end of the screen, it resets back to zero. So that's the class done. We're now going to go to the main program. So I'm just clicking the tab back to the main program. So in the main program, we're going to have two cars. So capital C for car, my car one. And capital C, my car two. Okay, so this program is going to have two objects, one called my car one, which belongs to the class car, and another object, my car two, which also belongs to the class car. Okay, we're going to go for void setup. Let's do void draw whilst we're here. So in void setup, let's have a canvas size of 200. Let's keep it fairly small for now. You might want to make yours bigger. Um, and then let's give birth to a new car. My car one equals new. That means we're going to give birth to a new car. Car. And this is where we give it some values. Let's give it a color of um, red, I think. 255,0,0. Let's give it a x position of 0, so it starts from the left. Let's give it a y position of uh, 100, so it starts halfway down. And let's give it a speed of 2. So it's going to go 2 pixels. It's going to move 2 pixels every time. It's going to copy and paste that, but change some of the values for, for the second one. So let's give birth to another car called My Car 2. It's going to be a new car. Let's give it a different colour. Let's make it maybe green or something. Or blue. Red, green, blue. Let's make it start at the left hand side, but let's make it start up the top. And let's give it a speed of 1. Okay? So um, what that does it takes all those four values into the um, into these into these methods. Okay, so these these those four values. So C will be the color. There's the X pos. There's the Y pos, and there's the speed. Okay, so those values are transferred uh, to these methods here. We then need to use simple commands such as background. Let's have a white background. You can change it if you want. Um, so I want my first car to, to be to drive, or to, you can, it doesn't matter which way around you do it. My car one dot drive. My car one dot display. And then we're going to say the same for my car two. My car two. So this bit here is where you're actually calling the method. Calling as in C A L L I E I N G. You're not calling it down. It's not hot. You are calling it. And by calling it, it means you go and do that method. So that method dot drive will now be um, executed. It will now be um, the, the the code will now be run run. So this is going to happen. And when you call the display method, then this will happen. Okay, that's that's you. Similar to calling a function, you're calling the method, or you're, you're using the method. So, we should have two cars, one red, one blue, going across the screen. There we go, there they are. Okay. So your challenge is to have maybe four or five cars, different colours, different speeds, um, maybe one could go backwards, that could be a challenge. Um, maybe you could make a racetrack for them, add some wheels. Okay, so if you're going to add some wheels and things like that, you might have to um, think about 
adding some extra code in the display function for the wheels. Or you might have a separate method called void wheels. There's loads of ways you can do it. If you don't feel confident, just keep them as standard rectangles. Um, but let's have lots more cars going across the screen. Um, let's have different speeds. Maybe, and your ultimate task, and I'll write this, will be written in an assignment, will be to have some audio with it. Either a soundtrack for the cars to drive along to, or maybe a car noise. Um, and an image. So rather than having a white background, maybe the, you could use an image, a suitable image, so it looks like they're driving along a real road, or driving along a cliff, or driving along something, something interesting. Use your imagination. Okay, so that's really going to be combining some skills. You've got images, you've got audio, and you've got object-oriented programming uh, producing some cars. Okay, so let's stop the video.